get ready with me guys do you enjoy them I'm gonna ask her your q and a whoop, whoop. <laughs> so i should have made this video a long time ago it's gonna feel good guys I'ma need you to stick out of your days No, you can't stay, get up out of my way Can't believe, I thought you were the one All the flags, wave the red from the start Now I know Guys, I'm, finish up. I'm finishing up my makeup And today, I did another style We are getting ready with me So today I'm just gonna be okay. Let me not talk so much. Let me go back to let me go back to surface better than sex mascara and eyeliner. I think I should do eyeliner first, it makes sense. So that's the eyes for you. Ah, now let's try the mascara. Okay, let me run. I have no lashes. Let's see if this will actually even help. Your girl has no lashes. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna finish it with off with the Fenty Beauty and Censored. Of course, I used the liner. It's finishing. This bronzer has been a life changer. Uh, I did think mate need to do our hair and then after I've done my hair then we're gonna ask her your Q and A yeah, my makeup is done now let's handle this what do you call let's handle my natural hair I wanna blow dry it actually I need a new I need new blow dryer but this one's gonna do we're gonna blow dry it and we're gonna put hair extension clip in hair extension from irresistible me and then after i've finished like getting myself together today you're getting ready with me if you like this kind of videos let me know down below you know how we do it yeah so let's unbox this should we unbox it yeah this is the clipping you are you're putting in my hair today Wow, I like it already. Okay, wait. We're just gonna do ponytail clipping extensions. I love this. I I had I love irresistible me wigs. They surely have really good wigs. 
I'm hoping it will match my hair because you know I am a natural girl and we will see <laughs> okay now we start with the first one let me go try the first one guys I hate doing my own hair if you don't know now you know ask you guys on my Instagram follow me on Instagram to ask me questions uh, that like anonymous questions who do you who do you who do you ship me with and I asked to like to ask me everything and you guys asked me a lot but <laughs> I'm happy with these questions like they were inversive but I like them so I'm gonna blow dry my hair flat iron so that to match I am this close I am this close to cut my hair uh, to relax my hair and I'm gonna flat iron it to see if it will match this this is like a challenge okay let's just unbox it with you guys oh guys look they it's I love the way that the packaging the packaging is everything huh let me show you by resistable me so I think this is a sample so that you know if it will fit your hair so uh -huh. oh no let me just do my own hair first guys this is why I can't multitask so yeah okay. hair is gonna be everywhere I hate that but we are gonna do it hair is everywhere but today is wash day I actually need those blood dry that you know those blood dry that is in a fanyanga blood dry with a combo right like with a brush yeah blood dry brush oh I'm not a fan of doing my own hair Let, let's just answer one question I asked you some questions and I used an app that you can send the questions I'll actually be doing this a lot so follow me on Instagram and always look out of my story for up-to-date things like the QA like right now you can also ask me more questions on the comment section of this video and I'll do another video but some people are so shy to ask me questions and I feel it's men who ask me questions apart from one lady who, who obviously wanted me to see this okay this lady said why do you always throw stones then act like the victim you are a troll as well so now so she also says this is what she said like why do you just judge me and assume i'm a troll if i was a troll <sighs> if i was a troll mm. guys and then she asked me another question why do you always have issues with content creators you've interacted with? Why you? Why you? You know, the thing is, people want your side of the story. Huh? And my side of the story, I'm going to write a book on it. Like, I am not... You're going to still judge me. Even if I say my story... You're gonna judge me and I'm not here like my channel is not to uh, simply put my channel is not about you to judge me if I'm right or wrong if I'm the victim or not so I'm gonna write a book and publish it on Amazon and I hope you buy it because I will explain like the story in details And I'm gonna tell you like let me just do my hair and then I'll come back here because your your girl your queen Kemuto cannot cannot multitask so let me just do my hair time slaps and then we will come here to answer these questions sour so, okay using our baby bliss flat iron see the first one how do people oh I don't know I don't like being my own is it flat? Mm -hmm. Well okay. 
<laughs> and the good thing about this is you're allowed to test it before opening and you can return it if you don't like the texture so there's another compacted here that tells you exactly like already opened it because I was excited so this is the hair texture so if maybe you don't like it for whatever reason you can return it before opening the whole container a resistor bomb me ponytail clip in air extension uh, ponytail extension clip in here and it's in pony 20 inches from irresistible me so it comes in a cute pack like this this is how it's looking this is how it's looking and you see already I tried I tried my best to do my hair but my hair is what my hair is kinky it shrinks back and don't tell me I go to the salon because I went to the salon I did my hair for like $15 and it reverted back so this is the texture you can see silky I'm this close to getting my hair chemically I'm gonna do this my first time installing this I like it because I like I like this text like I wish I can go with it but I had this idea when I ordered it because whatever I am not sure what type my hair is but I know it's natural type 4 natural so it comes like this wow I love it and it's 20 inches ponytail and then like that then it has something here clip in I love the quality the sewing like it's everything that you need in a ponytail let's finish this looks because I tried I tried to do the thing but it reverted back I'm gonna try and do um, do my baby hair with the gel but that's another thing so you see it's already like it is what it is guys it is what it is it is what it is are you like guys loving my content lately give this video a thumbs up i'm trying to reach guys i'm trying to to reach 50k by the time my birthday is here please help me support me by subscribing okay talk a lot anyway it has already decided to do what it wants to do so this is normally what I do because I don't want so much dash I want a high ponytail like Ariana Grande high ponytail like here I want it to reach here <sighs> So, our ribbons, I'm gonna use the ribbons here so that you can see the equations and me do my hair. Guys, pray for me. I get a bigger house. Oh, and she, she let me know her username. She wasn't afraid. She wasn't afraid. Like she didn't want to be anonymous. She wanted me to see. I think she's also a content creator. She wants free shout outs. No baby. Go. I ain't giving you free shout outs. So I'm gonna hide. So this is what she say. Why do you always have issues with content creators you've interacted with? Why you? Why me? Because I don't know if you've ever met me. But even in school like i'm an easy target because i am really really shy i'm an introvert that's why nowadays i learn my lesson and just 
sticks to my lane no meeting new strangers like yeah so to answer your question first i have not i don't have issues with every contact creator i have met hmm? what is this new life in a jaribu nini jaribu kuni shade hapa anyway to answer your question i don't have issue with content creators i have worked with before the only person I, that i've worked before with it was an up, an up and an up and coming youtuber i think she only had like it was an up and coming youtuber how can i say like i've worked with several youtubers and the only youtubers have have issue like i know what you are trying to say here <clears throat> the only youtube like okay let me just be honest with you without making it to escalate or to render an what do you say <laughs> i can't multitask i'm trying but i can't the only uh influencer that i've interacted with and i have issue is i've worked with several influencers in kenya and ghana and where else yeah kenya more soon the only ones like i've ha worked with several and out of these severals of course not everyone will like you I have had issue or maybe they've had issue with me only one one or two like out of several of people I've worked with only two people so you've decided to ask this question and because I'm the one like you could have asked me okay let me check your Instagram you could have asked me so many like questions that will help you but you decided to you decided to ask me this question like anyway when i work with the uh, influencers it's like the ones i've had issue with like the two i've had issues with it was like a competition like i myself i don't like i only compete with the person came towards yesterday but this in this it was a it was something with competition like i will write a book one day i'm gonna write a book about this and you guys would just believe i don't want you to like i know i can say my side of the story but it's only gonna just create drama which you guys love and which will which will translate into <laughs> drama cells i guess but yeah and i know everyone has their own tribe and there are brands out there for whom you and your content will be perfect too much i don't know how to answer this question without without because what do you say like i came to i don't like talking about things when i can't give full context of it and i don't want to talk about it because it's just draining like it's four years ago like four or three like let it go okay so my personality is i'm like nyasi when if i saw but anyway i'm gonna write a book and i'm gonna publish it in amazon i'm i'm not even kidding hmm? and that time i had a breakdown believe it or not it was a breakdown because i couldn't believe i'm trying i don't even know if i make sense i'm gonna you i'm gonna do a break okay let me just do this extension and then i'm gonna talk about it i know i've said it like a thousand times No. <laughs> I 
had that so I'm this close to relaxing my hair because wait it will blend much easier because I I even went live on TikTok. Follow me on TikTok. I wanted a high ponytail. That's why. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Bye. Oh, it's so easy to clip on. This is really nice. I like it. If you want this hair also, if you're interested with this hair, I want a link for the hair extension down below. Wow. Oh, this is an easy style. I've been wanting this neat slick bag style for, since forever like you already know what style i want to go for you can see the vision hmm? oh you can also do like this okay let me try and fix this okay let me just do my baby hairs should we even go there yes we should my edges is something else that as the penangi pay is okusumboliwa okay at the lalangi baby head baby hair Azilalangi, but this hair is so good. Don't laugh at me. I'm scared. You remember, Joe? The whole day I've been here. We were just on the phone, just now, Kwanga. Kichwa ngumu kama mimi. Hmm. Fuck, ora ba nimejaribisha. Cha tunimalizia hapa. Zinazitaitikia ziekwe, zitaeko. Zilale, zilale. Zitaitikia kulalishwa, zilalishwe. Ai, ika wiki ni kapoa. Kapoa sana. Sione. Hebu kaone. Acha ni pages kama zitalala. Kazi talala, tutajua leo nimekua content creator. So, me, honestly, nimejaribu sana na ikitu. I've tried hard enough, but this is a get ready to video with me, not a how to, so sija wadanganya. Anyway, that's the best I could have done. Nimi, even on my malizana, let me just answer this Q&A. And we we are done. I've tried. Hey, baby, azango zime. Oh, baby, I don't know what to do. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Guys. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But me, that's it for today. With the hair. Okay, okay, I'll wear this is the outfit I'm wearing. But let's just make this the outfit I'm wearing this with a skirt. That's the outfit. I'll be wearing and then I think I'll wear something on top. Anyway, let's just do this. To Yachevi. Tu ya chai pama tu ya angushe. Ta tu ya angushe. Sini ponytail tu menu nondo ya tu ya angushe. Ya chiti ya. Dani me ya cha. What do you like it? Comment down below. Should I leave it like this or... Should I relax my hair? I'm a nikkei yacha when you call me kunja na ju. So that's how it's looking. Okay, I'm gonna go on side dress. This is how my ponytail will be looking. Okay, let's do a thumbnail. But then I'm not doing it thumbnail. It's okay, Ajay. I'm gonna do a thumbnail. Anyway, that's the best I could 
have done so anyway about this the question okay let me see the question again so she asked me why do you always when machine I could repeat it she wanted obviously me to see her name she asked me two questions why do you always have issues with content creators you've interacted with and why why you and then she asked her she asked me another question why do you always throw stones then act like the victim you're a troll as well so let me answer the first one so me i've learned with collaboration here are some things that i've learned the hard way so that you because they can tell you're an influencer or a content creator or you're inspiring to be one uh and i know you if you're an influencer out there, you can totally re relate to this. So I've learned it and I've learned it the hard way. During collaboration, there are some people who come with good intention and then there's some people who come for the drama because they know drama really, really sells out. For me, as I'm telling you, they, there's always three sides to our story. There's the truth, there's my side of the story, and then there's the other side of the story. For my side of the story, you may have to wait for a book because I really am not I'm not in the business of like my brand came to bear is not in the business to address uh, drama or address people trying to say a false narrative about my character if you know you know if you are K-Tribe you already know my type of a personality I am a really calm collected uh shy very shy person it's only because i'm in my camera and i can't just come here and then actually like um because i'm shy i can't talk no it's like my like vlogging in front of a camera it's so easy for me than socializing with people because i'm a really my like if you don't know me like you're approaching me the first time you'll think i'm a stop but i'm the most warming warming loyal person out there to my friends and to people who've shown me their loyalty too but if you come at me side eyeing like i'm always side eyeing i am not perfect i'm not saying i'm perfect i am not perfect and i'm coffee and none in many situations i'm a coffee and none what i mean by that i'm a peacemaker i rather take else and have my peace that's how just how i see it instead of replying my side of the story it will be like it will be back and forth back and forth and everyone like i have on I've, I've worked with many influencers and it has been a really good and learning lesson some uh that i take it positively like when i came into this content creation i didn't know anyone who was doing videos and when 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 Trudy reached out to me, I don't have any problem with Trudy because I know that's the biggest one that people assume that I have uh, issues with Miss Trudy. I used to have, we, we fall out, but it was like when you travel with people, that's when you will know them. Me and Trudy, we were, we were I didn't know Trudy like outside YouTube. I knew Trudy through YouTube because that's how she reached me, reached out to me to do a video on Instagram. And I only had like 200 subscribers and I think she had a hundred subscribers or so and she reached out to me. I, did, I don't know how much she, she had. Honestly, we were just focused on creating content and we traveled like i have met today like maybe one two three like ten times and those all those times i met today we made content together and during our travel when you travel that's when you get to know each other's character and for me well, we had a i think it's miscommunication or whatever falling out or something but we talked through it we talked about it and it's like it's in good books like we have no issues right now together and it was something a subscriber like mm, like when i tell you i'm gonna write a book about it trust me it will be juicy and you guys are gonna buy it okay so don't forget i'll put the link on the description box below so now we are okay with trudy we are not in talking times we've never been like talking we'll never be like like talking every day it was only about content creation and everyone has grown 
uh, differently. Like we have, like our lives have changed right now. And I learned a lot through her also. Like, uh, yeah, like I have no problem with her and I have no other, pro like another, which other issue anyway? The other one you already know, if you know, you know, I don't want to take light on it but that one was even more shocking and after two incidents that have happened to me the third incident that's why i'm really really like very careful with people i'm gonna be collabor collaborating with this incident happened like over three years ago but it taught me a lot of lessons and i want to say if i didn't apologize because i am not even perfect I am truly not even perfect and uh, if I ever hurt anyone's feelings I I highly apologize like in my content creation like I was only focused in content creation content creation content creation and I maybe I was not there as a friend like maybe as anyone wanted but I I I, I am can I say I'm too I'm too spoiled like I have so many sisters so my sisters are my best 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 friends since growing up I've only interacted with my family I've been, I'm in a close-knit family so my best friends are my sisters and that's what I knew growing up yes of course I had friends from school and high school and college but in my work work mode I I more comfortable like close with people that yeah and i have a very small small circle of friends and i'm really really sorry for if i have ever like offended you or if that's how like it came across because i've always moved with good intentions even if i'm i'm not perfect i've always have one thing i have good intentions i will never say go on and subscribe to this person go and subscribe to that person even if it doesn't work out it's me and that person problem so that's how i've, I've seen things i don't know if i'm trying to be a little diplomatic because some people will take my words and misconstrue and they just feed on drama and i'm not feeding on drama i do not want to feed on drama even like one of them like i don't know like uh, i am just obsessed with myself i am like the reason why i came to this apartment building is because uh they recommended me to come to this building but when i moved to this building they started acting side eye side eye side eye like it's like competition when you collaborate with some people it's like you're competing and me for me like i'm not even bragging or or doing anything i feel like i don't need, need to explain myself really really well if you know me you know me i'm not here to for you guys to take my side or take this other person's side i am just here like as i am feed on my content feed on i feed on you I feed, you feed on me that's what uh, my videos are all about to bring light and happiness to you guys not to bring all my issues on social media when i fall out with someone i just feel like it's really good i feel like they could have called me and i could have explained or like it's better if you have an issue with someone just call them or meet one on one the same way you you became like mutual like i don't know if it makes any sense anyway i don't have an issue with anyone as i speak right now and yeah and i've just come to a point where like i'm just gonna let you guys misunderstand me I don't want to waste time proving myself or my worth or what I stand for, or my morals. And I'll never call anyone ugly. And if I called uh, you ugly, it's basically because you call me something fat. Because I am not angel, I'm not Saint Judas or something. But to be honest, I've never called anyone ugly in my life. Everyone is beautiful in their own right way. Like beauty is in the heart and when i say ugly i mean your heart is ugly your soul is ugly your intentions are ugly and i just don't like i just let it slide like believe what you want to believe uh choose whichever side you want to choose but when you come here just come with respect with your opinions but with respect and that's what i 
what, that's what I ask of you, Kate. I'm like, just kill them with silence, with kindness, and just make your money, make your bag, stay in your bag. That's what's gonna make you grow, like, peace. Like, I just want peace. Then, to address why do you always throw stones, then act like they're a victim, you are a troll as well. Like, I've never acted like a victim, and... Uh, just re oh, my book is gonna be coming up and i'm gonna be selling it on amazon and why do you say like i throw stones then act like a victim every content i've created here only and if you are meaning about my tiktok or my my instagram those are just reels and trends that are going on and they jump on them they are not targeted to anyone but if you feel like it's targeted to you let the shoe fit but honestly i just enjoy doing trends like even yesterday i did i'm single do you know I, i'm single it doesn't actually mean i'm single am i but it's just a trend i jump on trends and i just like i just love life and i just love making <laughs> silly stupid content and i just don't throw shade i've never do i actually throw shade guys do you feel like i throw shade and if i do throw shade please come with receipt and let me know okay i will be honest and say it but i'm gonna be sometimes like that's how i am i just let you run with whatever story you think about my character it's not for me to explain to you like who i am it's just my actions will show you it's not for everyone to understand me actually only my husband my sisters mostly my future husband because that's who i'm gonna be disturbing that's for him to know me for you on the internet just enjoy whatever i'm giving you guys i just live in the in uh this is things i've learned through content creation and just life in general that anything that's like beneath you and i don't ma mean material wise or beauty or subscribers following number like but i mean it's like on moral status anything that's beneath you has to go and that's how just i feel it. it's like even bad habits if you're doing collaboration and it's not growing you it's just bringing drama just let it go cut it off it's toxic and just be do things that are gonna uplift you even peacefully even making you happy because i'm telling you karma is real if you feed on negativity whatever you are watching all the movies you're watching youtubers you're watching is negative you're just gonna feed in the neg negative uh, cycle and i'm telling you manifestation is real what you see what you project is what is gonna come back to you like yeah with collaborations uh, it brings joy but it also brings toxicity. So I decided to be, okay, three years ago, I was really scared to do collaborations, but right now I have healed, I have uh, moved on, and I'm willing to do collaborations, but I'm more choosy, I'm, I, I'm more choosy of how I do collaborations because I don't wanna, like, for a long time, I was, like this past three years and i'm not even joking you see me smiling smiling here but i've been really uh, uh to myself to my family and my so small circle of friends because youtube for the last three years been really a toxic place like not youtube itself the media like but like collaborating or associating with like influencers it has really bring bring out anxiety and really burn out so i've tried to go back to the roots go back to kemundo go back to jojo that's what i'm that's what my family call me and my close people call me going back to jojo who is jojo and why i came to youtube to share knowledge not drama so that's why uh i've tried to really cut out like associating with certain types of people because of i just want peace for everyone has their own tribe here online and my tribe is k tribe and they're always there for me they're always fighting my fights thank you so much they're always like there too and when i say fighting my fights i mean supporting me where it matters they're always supporting me and they're always supporting the brands that i work with and that's always 
I am always like thank you so much my kitchen because that's the only way we all will grow and yeah I know my content uh, when I started this video I want this channel I wanted to be a travel vlogger because it's a travel vlogger but being a travel vlogger I don't want to be a burden I want to travel with my own money I want to like I want to what like that's the content that's perfect then I gravitated to add lifestyle beauty and fashion and it's really 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 nice and I want you to stick around because I'm gonna be bringing back travel content very very soon to you guys and any like and uh, that and I've uh, like people will say I'm boring like the content I'm making is boring I'm not going outside but Guess what? My tribe gets me the brands that I work uh, work with or get me. They like who they like whom I am, and my content is perfect for the brands that I work with and the, my audience that truly really follows me for with good pure intentions. I'm getting to work with my dream brands. Like I'm getting to work with my dream brands, and yeah, in future. I'm gonna be working with Rihanna, but by the way, the lipstick I'm wearing is Fenty lipstick consistent make a foundation today. I wear a glot and mix with Fenty Beauty. I just use, yeah, okay, back, back to today's video. Sorry, I'm overselling. I'm of, I, I like sharing about beauty, yeah, and I just like playing my cards right. And I know uh, I'll get the sponsorship that I need, I know I'll get the videos that I need trust me I want to travel too but I don't want to travel like like a hope I want to travel the world like, like sleeping resort like the way I travel to India or the way I travel to Lam that's how I want to to do it I'm not like a hostel kind of person I'm more of a resort and that's expensive ladies that's expensive and to me like YouTube is really a good space where I've met uh, I've met really nice people here out here. I'm not gonna like I don't want to mention me names not because I don't want to promote them or whatever But I just don't want another drama out here The loyalty lies with how many subscribers you have so me I just want to to make my bread and just be happy doing whatever I want to do here and for me I decided to just stop worrying and just create content because if I worried I'm not doing travel content I will stop creating content like the way I see people they'll they won't create content when they are in their home country because they just they've they are used to showing their audience which is good for them and it's working for them but for me I decided to do whatever I'm doing like my lifestyle to document everything I'm doing and I just take action instead and to like when I see negativity on social media especially surrounding me I just prioritize having a settled and level-headed mind and I just decide not to respond to negativity and I just put my my how do you say and I consider what it's like to be them and if I feel even just a little bit sorry or pity to them then their life is just sad enough already which explains why they are projecting negativity uh, yeah just they're wasting their time just to offend me so I just do that's how I just react to negative and hate comments and funny thing enough when i respond and say like i have haters and trolls they'll say it's all in my mind but actually if i show you how many hidden comments or hold inappropriate comments i have you will wonder so i just don't give them the satisfaction of a respond and i like right now with youtube that's my main like not even also alone like social media like my my main aim and my main goal now is getting the digital money with, in whatever social platform that i can so i don't let anyone so i don't want any distraction from negativity or anything so and actually right now like i want more i want more from brands so i'm working really really hard to 
to present myself out there and also to my audience like to be i'm not a role model please don't don't misquote me i just want to live my life right now and make the most bag i can like dollars i want to make money and i'm not playing and i want to be happy that's my goal right now and i don't want any distraction to to make me go the other way i did a story time actually and i'm gonna post it i'm gonna post it so for me personally with youtube and like working with my co-workers because other influencers are my co-workers you already know what like the working space is like so for me i go where i'm wanted respected and honored and that's where i go uh, uh, that's where like i'm going forward <laughs> with because there's no prize tolerating disrespect and dishonor and also these are like in a nutshell these are the things i've learned like working with with like all my working life this is what i've learned and maybe even my social life this is what i've learned and actually for the person who commented this i am not taking it personally because you don't know me personally you've just judged my character with the narrative that's out there about me and it just says a lot about you because how can you judge my character when you've never even met me and i come to you really 100% authentic so if you like it you like it if you don't like it you don't like it most people don't even have the capacity capacity to like themselves so i don't expect much from people that i don't know if they don't like me like i can't force them i just concentrate with people who like me my k type <laughs> and actually i don't I don't care telling the side of my story I don't know how, how many times I can explain this because you guys are gonna believe whatever you wanna believe about me and I'm gonna let you because to be honest I put my life out there to the public and do I regret it no but I've learned my lessons um here on K Tribe, like you guys know I'm my own biggest fan even with the view someone came up with me like Oh, came to you don't even make the views like a video I did a month ago is not even reaching 10k thousand subscribers you better just quit YouTube and forget about it like there's some people who came before you like five months in the game and they they've reached 50,000 subscribers that's their journey and this is my journey I'm my own biggest fan I know where I, I've come from I know what this social media is bringing to my table so i respect and i am a fan of my own journey this is my journey this is how i choose to live to lead my journey without quitting being consistent and re how do i have gotten that english name and a jealous friend is a dangerous friend and that's why i am mostly on my own or with my family or with a close knit of friends who I don't show on social media and for me the biggest thing I've learned with collaboration if someone disrespects you or even in life generally just avoid <laughs> doing any any deals with them the other thing I learned is your life partner can make or break your life so I'm really like working this life really really careful and protecting what i love from social media because social media is cruel and social media doesn't forget and another thing i've learned is someone like someone was saying mm, came to your so fat came to you need to lose it the reason why i'm not in the gym because i don't have access to the gym so if you want me well, if you want me to lose weight pay for my gym pay for my trainer it's so expensive am i going to fight to buy unga ugali because a flour of unga ugali is 235 shillings right now or am i going to go to the gym gym is like i think 300 per day or something or 
personal share is even more expensive so like which one which one let you so if my weight is affecting you your eyesight pay for it okay you you're you're bored with my content trust me even me i'm bored with the content i'll be there traveling to hong kong and make content but guess what the a flight ticket to hong kong is like two thousand dollars or a thousand dollars i don't even know pay for my flight ticket pay for 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 my hotel and i'll make content that you want like and another thing i've learned is i'm just shameless when a person can't shame you and um <laughs> there's nothing the person can't shame me they have no power over me like i am fully confident fully confident of myself of my weaknesses of my perfectionists of my normal like of my character i am and everything i own i live in a bed sitter i am not shameless about it this is growth to me i've been living with my sister i've been sharing like bedrooms with my sisters because they're coming up in a i have over over eight siblings like and my mom like we used to live in a two bedroom apartment and i share like a bed with my sister so now i'm sleeping in my own bed that's growth next time you're gonna watch me i'm gonna have my own my own home with five ba bedrooms or eight bedrooms or whatever bedrooms where my family can all fit in and my friends but this is growth to me like if you share me i live in a bed stay in a small house this is me i'm not hiding i've never said i'm rich i'm always sharing my, my journeys if i buy a fridge i'm gonna share it on if i buy a washing machine because those are luxury to me like it's something and i'm sharing also information at it i'm not saying oh look at me i have a washing machine oh look at me i bought a fridge oh look at me no let's share information so that you can also do it if you want to do it or if you already do it it just inspires you and makes your day so i've never been a shame shameful person i live my truth yeah and to say uh i'm always be i've always been grateful of my journey i'm grateful my sister i can live with my sister that says a lot about my character i live with people in harmony and cohesion is that even english like in harmony like like you know like i know how to live with people like my sisters have different characters every one of us have their weaknesses and their strength and we uh, with that we have love for each other my sisters cried when i moved out they want us to live together like but for growth and for what i want to i'm um, seeing in my future i need like my own space like this today is like my office for me to grow even further because when i'm with my sister it's just gisting happiness happiness cooking and all that which is good also but there's work time and there's play time so when i'm in this studio it's work mode so I am grateful for my family i'm grateful for everything i'm grateful for collaborating i'm very very grateful because i've learned also a lot through the collaborations i've had and i will change it for or trade it for anything else and the next thing i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna be traveling i'm saving up for travel guys i'm saving up for travel and because i know i will learn a lot through traveling i know my my channel will grow a lot when i travel also because i've seen it when i went to india my channel skyrocketed skyrocketed from 2000 to 4000 just like that and i know like i know i know guys don't think i don't know i'm just doing what's affordable to me right now and this is the content that you're seeing okay and i'm trying to make it informational <laughs> and i really love to travel i really love to travel i love to travel so much but it's expensive and yeah but if you want to donate to that my paypal will be here my veto will be here my center will be here and i'm not forcing anyone you can also share this video because if this video get a million views i can be able to travel maybe even to uganda or rwanda yeah like and i'm gonna travel okay so let me answer the other question sorry i've focused on this one but i just wanted to share my water some things 
kidogo kidogo so let me answer the other one so someone asked me this is the app i think it's called N nng and this is only the messages i got from anonymous one two three twelve twelve one so guys follow me and i can't see who you are because i have to pay or something so always go and ask me i'm gonna be replying to them so someone said you are celeb crush okay my celeb crush is Chris Brown, 50 cents. Denzel Washington. Yeah. So what's your fav food? My favorite food recently, I like eating salads. But my favorite, favorite food is chapati with beans or chapati with tumbukiza. Tumbukiza is a stew of beef, stew with potatoes and spinach. No, it was cabbage. Oh, no, no, no. Ugali also. Like, come on. Like, ugali. I cannot go a week without eating ugali. Like, I will literally crumble. Uh, you should get a tattoo. Hi, like, guys. I fear pain. I fear pain, actually, but... Oh, if I would get a tattoo, it will be, I don't know, like I fear pain. That's the only thing. I can't even lie to you guys. I hate pain. I hate pain. Even if I get a small headache like this, Maramoja and uh, Wait, so what else? So that, someone said, I've always liked you. Tried shooting my short Ukalenga. Hope one of these days we can do lunch and I get to know you better and you ne you never want and you never want. Oh that's sweet. Thank you for offering lunch. Uh but currently what did I say? Like I was so scared of of let me not say scared. Like my purpose right now, when I'm dating, I'm dating for something like, let me not say too much. Like, I don't like, I don't like, like for me, when I, when I accept going lunch or a date with you, that means I'm, I really, really like, like, I, like I really see something um because i don't normally like entertain anyone or go for a free lunch i used to do that when i was in college i'll go just with someone out just to to have like free lunch but ever since with my big age my big age is a controversy right <laughs> but yeah ever since with my big age how old do you think i am guys how old do you think i am a lady never tells us age her age <laughs> i'm kidding anyway so like uh like right now with my big age i'm really i'm not like when i talk with one person like i want to focus on that one person because guys i can't multitask i just want to choose like i don't like when i say when i go on a date it's like i'm seeing you like very very serious so if i'm not seeing you like any future with you like there's no need for me to say yes I don't have any time to waste and I don't want to waste anyone's time or hopes. So that's how I am. Like when I'm into someone, like it's very, really easy to know that I'm into you. <laughs> uh, newest song in your library. It is this one. What, is, what it is? Guy, I have such a bad... Let me see. It's this song called... By Dolce. Let me see. What's she saying? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Newest song in your library. It's this one. Okay, so I have high phone and I have to buy music. So I just listen my music on YouTube or Spotify. So this is the music um, I like. Wait. Okay, let me show you my Shazams. Yeah, Shazams will let you know what kind of music I like. This is... Okay. Okay, before I show you my Shazam, there's this song. Let me have two songs. But you said my newest, but I'm gonna show you more than two. Okay, but this one is the one, it's on my head, it's living on my head. What it is, block, block boy. Yeah, this. <laughs> it's 
so that's my newest dog by Joshi. I don't even know how to say the word. Anyway, this is my spot spot my Shazam songs. So when you Shazam a song, that's when you know you like it, right? Am I wrong? So this one. Hey. I bet it's time to I know that you hope. If I was your man, I love that song. And then I'm literally playing you my whole f my f my Shazam. But there's this song by Chris Brown. This one it gets me every time. No, it's this one. Call me every other day. Call me every day. You asked me for one song, but I'm giving you my whole playlist. I wanna get a Bluetooth. I wanna get a Bluetooth speaker. Call me every day. Let's not cop get copyrighted. So personality or looks? I guess you mean about dating someone, right? It's all about personality and the dollars. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Am I? But for me, personalities, personality. Like, are we gonna eat looks? If it comes with look looks okay but personality more because that's when you can get someone like you can vibe with someone last thing you ate i ate some something i made like a new recipe i made some chicken thighs with french beans lots of veggies french beans carrot french beans and carrots are a recipe i learned from my sister just like three days ago and i said i have have this it went so good with rice it was so so good yeah oven baked chicken thighs i'm not gonna eat my my nini anyway what's your number one song on spotify how do i see like my number one song in spotify or i can see it on my library okay i think it's this one this one is it's on spotify but bien, Mombasa. Wait, let me just go. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm always on my TikTok. Yeah, nobody. Oh, someone's calling me. Okay, wait. Oh, guys, hi. I'm sorry. I'm back. We went to grab some food. We have to eat. You can see it's dark already. Anyway, that's the feet. That's my feet. Uh huh. Scott, my sister gave it to me, being Mona. Thank you. Very good. Uh, top, I think she, she thrifted this card. Top, uh, Timu. The top is from Timu. Also, the, the outro is from Timu. This one is from Timu. Yes. That's why get ready with me. It has gone viral. Anyway, we are back. Where were we? So we are back. Winded. Winded. How are you guys liking this? Is it giving? Okay. I have to answer all this question. Battery is blinking. Anyway, uh, who's your last snap from? Do you mean Snapchat? I rarely open Snapchat actually. Yeah. But I guess you mean that. Anyway, I rarely open Snapchat. Or do you mean my last like picture? Ooh. My last picture is from this this girl. Like it's actually a screenshot. Chantel. I don't wanna dress like this is an inspo for what i wanna dress like <sighs> no that's what we're asking for if you're if not sorry anyway i'm tired <laughs> i'm tired it's already what time it's 7 30. guys i'm killing it out here i'm working even on saturdays <sighs> i'm tired i need a car i need a car i need a car <laughs> 
I need a car. I need a car. Please, God, I need a car. Anyway, my feet happy. What must I do? You have a dog. No, I don't have a dog. Guys, I live in a bed sitter, but when I have like my own apartment, a bigger space, I really want a dog. And I don't want a chihuahua. I want a dog that actually can protect me. I want a German dog. Okay, I love every kind of dog, but I want a German shepherd dog. Like, yeah. I love dogs, I love animals, I love cats. Who, who will love you? I am beautiful. So, and then I told you guys to describe me in three words. And so I said, I'm beautiful and bothered and genuine. Genuine, genuine. Yes, guys, I am all that. <laughs> Thank you guys for sending me this anonymous question. And if you want to send me more anonymous questions, you want to know me more, I'm going to be replying on the comment section of this video. But I know some things you want to ask me in, and you don't want to reveal your, your, yourself. So that's going to be a good way. I'm going to be leaving the link on, on, my, on my community post. Yeah, I don't know who sent this apart from the one person who asked me about social media. Anyway, I hope if I've ever offended anyone, this is my public apology. I'm really, really sorry. And I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. And I hope you you heal and you move on to better things. The world is it, like we have life and that's what we are focused on. I'm really, really like trying to be really positive and just to spend send positivity out there because that's what i want to receive also and i know i'm not perfect i i'm just genuine genuine yes and i always have good intentions that's all if you like this kind of videos don't forget to like comment and subscribe there's another story time coming out soon just stay tuned and watch it i post every single week like minimum one video i will post anyway check me on my live on saturday i'm gonna be reviewing real Housewives of of real Housewives of nairobi i'm gonna be watching it right now actually and catch with it up and then review it online yeah it's on show max i watch watch it on show max so that's what i'm gonna be doing and at least the makeup was seen yeah i went for brunch or you can say what yeah how do you like my style actually okay guys bye i love you good night can't believe i thought you were the one of the flags waving red from the start now i know all the things that i want day by day taking time to myself